Today I'm going to talk you through my dynamic warm-up. So this is a dynamic warm-up which will prepare the body um, for your basics contortion training uh, where we will be holding positions um, more passively. But with the dynamic warm-up I start with head going from side to side then looking up and down. Then I move into some arm swings. So firstly the chest arm swings, then the backward shoulder arm swings and then the arm swings going forwards. After this, um, I start to circle the hips. So you just get little hip movements to begin with and then the circles get gradually bigger. So this full body warm up um, does prepare you for the session. So we we spend about five to 10 minutes just warming up the body um, get the blood flowing and so then you're ready to get into your passive stretches. Then doing side um, leans, so each position we are doing little small ballistic bounces, focusing on stretching out the hamstrings and then reaching either side, either hand, um, each side of the foot bring the chest down to the legs and continuing with the bounces. So we're doing about 10 in each position. Then into the middle. Then to the other foot. So again, chest is close to the leg. Then leaning to the side. So you want to flatten down the back. Bring the hand to the wall in front of you. And lastly, back into the ones leaning over to the side. So you want to get lateral flexion in this position. And we're just going to bring the legs together and we're going to do five little pulses, bring the arms back and then bring the chest down to the legs, legs together, we're going to do 10. Then we're going to do this again. and reaching the chest down to the legs, getting the legs as straight as you can and the weight should be through the front of the feet. Then gonna come down to the floor, we're gonna do a quick wrist stretch. So we're just doing some wrist rocks to begin with, leaning the weight forwards and then backwards. So again, we're doing about five reps of these um, and most exercises are five to 10 reps. And then we're going over to the side so just five on each side. And then the hands are facing towards the body. And then again, rocking forwards and backwards, trying to keep the palm of the hand on the floor. Then I'm going to come into a straddle stretch. And again, we're reaching the arm over the head. Should be in a sideways position here. And we're trying to get the obliques down to the leg. Then hands are coming either side of the foot. And we're just doing again 10 little bounces, bring the chest down towards the leg. Then you're coming through the middle, keeping the chest as low as you can, nice flat back. Coming over to the other foot. And again, 10 little pu uh, pulses. And then finally, reaching up and over and we got another 10 pulses. Next we bring the arms up to the ears, keeping a flat back the whole time, we're hinging at the hip and we're bringing the chest down to the floor. We're just going to do five of these, so we don't want it to be too intense to begin the session, um, we just want to get the body warm. And finally we're getting a little bit closer to the, the ground, and we're just doing our little pulses again. Bring the legs together and we're gonna do the same thing. So we're hinging at the hip, keeping the legs straight, stretching out the back of the hamstrings. The arms should be by the ears, as straight as possible. And then we're just gonna relax the hands down to the feet and do another 10 pulses. After this, we're gonna move into our lunges. So we're starting lunge position on the floor. Again, we're just doing little pulses in this position, just getting a bit of movement in the hips. And then we're going to reverse, flex the foot, keep the front leg straight, and we're going to do 10 pulses again. 
forwards, this time back knee is coming off. We're doing five to ten pulses, and then we're also going to bring the arms off and do another five pulses. So we're trying to get the back hip flexor as close down to the ground as possible. Then we're extending both legs, bring the chest down to the front leg, and we've got another five to ten pulses. And then changing legs, so as you can see, it's, it's fairly quick. Um, it doesn't need to be a really slow warm-up, just something to get the body moving and active. Um, we're coming into our reverse, flex the foot, front leg should be straight, chest down to the front leg, and we're doing five pulses. Back into a forwards position, back leg off the ground, and another five to ten pulses. And then arms are coming off, and another five Coming into our reverse high lunge, straightening both legs and into another 10 pulses. And we're just going to do a bit of thoracic stretching. So we're bringing the leg either side of the body, it should be in line with the hips, the knee bent up to the hip height. Let's get a bit of thoracic rotation there. So again, we've got five to ten on each side. And we're just getting a bit of movement in the shoulders as well. So we're bending the arms, putting a bit of weight on the back. And we should fill in the entire interior delts. Then we bring the arms back into chest swing. Nice and easy, nice and relaxed. It's about five on each side. After this, we're going to come into our side to side lunges. So, this is warming up for middle splits. So, we want to feel a bit like a ninja in this position. Obviously, I am quite flexible, so I am able to get my back leg and my hamstring down to the ground. But if you can't, just Take it easy, take it slow, and then we're moving into our deep squat position pulses. Coming up and out from that position, then going to come down to cobra, and we're just going to press up onto our hands and then back down, so we're not holding the position. If you find that too intense, let's just stay on the elbows, so you're pressing up to the elbows, you're lowering down to the ground. We're just doing five of these, get a bit of mobility throughout the back. And then we're coming into child's pose, so sitting back on your legs, on your feet. And then we're just coming up into downward dog position. So again, this position, we don't want it to be too static, because um, we're just getting the, the body moving, ready for our contortion basic session. And we're just putting some weight either side of the leg, so you're bending each leg and shifting the weight. And then we're coming back up to the top. Lastly, we're going to finish off with some leg lifts, so nice and controlled we're going to do these. Just lifting the leg out to the side. Make sure that the leg is staying sideways, not coming forwards, not coming backwards. We're just going to do 10 on each side. So you don't really want to hip hike, which means you're pushing your hip out to the side. You want to try and stay as upright as possible in this position. And I don't have a wall, so <laughs> I was trying to balance as well. If you feel more comfortable, just rest your hand against a wall, um, but control the movement. And lastly, we're coming into our needle kicks. So bring one leg up behind you. Again, make sure that you're staying in a straight line, legs not going out to the side, and we're doing 10 kicks on each leg. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. This is one of my dynamic warm-ups for Contortion Basics. Thank you.